Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Omoni Yadu. Please, I want you to subscribe to this channel, Ubongo TV. And also click on the notification bell so that you will be notified anytime we upload new content. On this channel, you will enjoy a lot of things apart from the fantastic movies that you will watch. We have other programs like Medical Tips, One on One with the Champion. And now we are bringing other shows that you will enjoy to you. Shows like Kingdom Stars, Kenny Yobanwi, and Ilerawa. All these put together will give you a very high sense of humor and it will uplift your soul. Please subscribe. God bless you. Ogongo TV, the lead on air. match we have just finished watching. There is another sport going on around everyone and two beings are involved. Each of them seeks to direct and control the affairs of a child. Although they are not visible but they are so real and distinct. Every child is a servant to whom he obeys by time and the fruits of such a child is a function of the materials he collected from any of them now the point is this no child can obey the two of them at the same time because the one you obey takes authority over your life my boy who are you obeying I didn't know what you are talking about, Oma. Who are those two beings? They are strong, powerful, and energetic. They influence whoever obeys them, either positively or negatively. How are you, my girl? Hmm. Baba, yes. you, you said that they are invisible, right? Yes, my boy. If yes, where are they living? They are all around you. It is the one that you allow enters into you and take control over your life. Enters me and take control. Don't you know that whoever you yield yourself to, you are the servant of who you obey. How? Me? A servant? Don't you know that whoever you offer yourself to, to obey, you are a servant to who you obey. 
whether you are slaves to sin which leads to death or obedience which leads to righteousness everything you do is recorded for you either to condemn you or to justify you depending on what you do i'm not here to scare you some but you need the information so as to know who to obey it is meant for your preparation in life my son who are you obeying because whoever you obey wins the game over your life Sonny boy. Good morning, how was your night? See, it's already 5.30 a.m. Stand up now and have your personal prayers and devotion. Because very soon we'll have the general devotions together, okay? Okay, ma. Okay, be fast with it. Lord, thank you for waking me up this morning. I enjoyed yesterday with my friends. You know what? It was fun. Just in my Amen. That law is for boys like you, not for me. I'm a big boy, you know. Okay, let me see, let me see. This is the latest, latest smartphone. You bought your parents phone to school? No, it's mine. Your parents bought it for you? I bought it myself. How did you get the money? You ask too many questions. I'm a big boy now. I'm a big boy too. How did you get the money? I got from dad's account through his ATM. How did you get his bill on back to the ATM card? There was a day we went to the bank. So we went to withdraw money from his bank account through the ATM. So from there I knew his PIN number. And from there, when I asked him to give me money to buy a smartphone, yeah. he refused. Yeah. And so I just took the ATM, withdrew the money, and I bought two phones. And you know my dad, he does not he didn't subscribe for a lot, so I can't get the alert. Yeah, now. What is this? Wait a second. I gave it to my girlfriend. Your girlfriend? Yeah, now. In secondary school. <laughs> so what? So what's wrong with that? You are a bad boy. You are the type of person my parents told me to stop moving with. Mm -hmm. That's why you're a small boy. You don't know anything. Listen, I'm only doing what big boys do. I don't believe you. 
As for me, I'm a child of destiny. And what is expected of me is to face God and my studies, to be a light and positive example to others. Ah, clap for yourself, clap for yourself. Ha. So, you think you're a light and a child of God. Yeah. And you can't afford to buy yourself a simple smartphone. That reminds me, what did you score in your last English and Mathematics test? I got 60 and 65% of 100. Hey, your God loves me better than you. I had the score of 87 and 90%. So what do you want to tell me? See, can you see what I'm saying? See, if you want your life to be better, just join me. I'll catch you later. I have time to answer your questions now and thank God your dad is around. What is that your question? Oh dear, before we go to his questions, um, immediately you left for school this morning, I checked your room and I discovered something. I discovered your laptop was on. You've been playing games. Is there anything wrong with playing games? Actually, there is nothing wrong with playing games. But it depends on the type of game and the time. That time is the time you are supposed to be alone with God, fellowshipping with Him, communing with Him, and studying His Word. Now, receiving strength to continue as a child of God. When you spend time with God, you will grow deeper in your love with Him. And this will, this will make you to be who he wants you to be. It will also help you to stand and overcome the devil, who is always around to deceive you. Mm? Mm, that's, uh, that's true. <clears throat> and I will advise you not to play any game that will not positively educate you. Is that taken? Yes, sir. Good. <laughs> now you can ask your questions. Why does God love unbelievers more than be believers? I mean, Christians. <laughs> well, um, <clears throat> God's love is unconditional. I mean, it's for everybody. Either you obey Him or not. But when it comes to His promise, promises and covenant, um, we are talking to a believer at that point. Okay, like for instance now, the Bible says in the book of Exodus uh, chapter 23, verse 25, said, Worship your God like God, and He will bless your food and water, and take sickness away from you. You see, that promise is just for believers. It's not for unbelievers. He is not general. Now, another scriptural verse that I want to quote for you is uh, John 3, 16. It said, For God so loved the word that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Jesus Christ died for the whole world, but it's only those that believe in him that will not perish. So if you don't want to go to die and go to hell, you have to believe first. So you you now see that you know the uh, promises and the covenant is just for the believers. I think that one is well understood too. Yes, sir. So why are you asking all these questions? I know of two boys. One is born again. Why the other is not? The one that is not born again has money and scores higher marks than the one that is born again. Is this not a proof that God loves the boy, the unbeliever more? Tony. I will advise the born again to face his studies. I will also advise him to be closer to God. He should pray more and he should read his Bible. That way, he will be more confident of God's love. Mm -hmm. Do you know that unbeliever boy may be stealing the money? Yes. And you know, at this age of yours, you don't need such uh, flashy things. Mm -hmm. Let the believer, let him face his academics. They didn't read more, and his grace would definitely increase. And to even buttress what my they have just said. You see, I as a child, God gives you what you need, and what, and not what you want. 
Hmm. You know, many teenagers today, they are using those expensive phones to commit atrocities and immoralities. You know, some of them even visit um, pornographic sites, mm -hmm. which has nothing good to do with their lives. So I will advise you that uh, you know you don't need all those things at this time. Just tell that your believer friend that you don't need all those things for now. I hope you are not that uh, <laughs> that uh, born again boy. Oh, how can you believe? <laughs> you are probably several days. Good morning, students. Good morning, sir. How was your night? Yes, um, some of you represented this, this school uh, in uh, competitions some days ago and they performed excellently. Can we appreciate them? Uh, they are Kola Olatunji and Tolulade Ojo. They are so Yes, uh, the essence of uh, appreciating them and uh, encouraging them is to let them be able to buckle up and try more in their class activities and their forthcoming quiz competitions. Uh, let us appreciate them once again. Yes, you are free to go to your classes now. Good morning. me now and look at the way you are dressed. Where do you think you are? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Be careful. Yes, sir. You need to watch the kind of friends you move with. Do not associate with friends that will pull you down with their mouth. Tony. What happened today? You were among the students that won going gifts the last quiz. What happened today? Tony, you've changed. What is happening to you? I even noticed you were late to school this morning. Tony, obey your parents and the Lord. Keep away from friends that will pull you down with their mouth. Because evil communication corrupts good manners. My humble advice for you is to move closer to God. Study your academic books and other literature that will impact your life positively. I want to see a change. Okay, sir. Thank you. Why are you not writing? Tolulade, why are you not writing? She lost her iPod. Are you Tolulade? I have told you not to be too forward. Can you please stand up and tell me what's wrong? I lost my tablet, sir. Oh. You did what? You brought a tablet to school? Don't you know bringing a tablet to school is against the ethics of the school? 
Que vous l'avez See me in my office after class. And I, will you keep quiet? Sit down and write something. Tolulade, I am so much disappointed in you. Don't you know bringing a computer device is against the ethics of this school? What are you doing with a tablet in my class? I didn't want my brother to play with it. Keep quiet! Stop giving me flimsy excuses. You can tell that to the Marines. <laughs> I must punish you for that. <laughs> I'm deeply sorry, sir. And, and that, that is even by the way. When did that start? Who is in my class? I need to get to the root of this matter. I cannot accommodate people stealing in my class. <laughs> Look at her crying as if you don't know the right thing to do in the first place. Don't you know going against the rules and regulations of the school is equivalent to disobeying God? Good radiance. Imagine what happened in our class today in a Christian school. Christian school? Do you think every student in this school is a Christian? There are towers among the weights in every school because we are from different homes with different backgrounds. Yeah, to support you, Nikkei. We have different character and attitude. Many are Christian at home, but in school, something else. I know if the person that has mistakenly taken that tablet, according to our teacher, is a genuine child of God, he or she will not be comfortable until he or she returns it. I don't think Dolu Ade will ever find that tablet again. I don't know why the teacher didn't allow such our bags. I observe that many students in that category are those students who will not come for assembly in the morning. And the fellowship our school organizes once in a week, the Bible says, we should receive with meekness the engrafted word of God so as to be able to save our soul. You are right, Daniel. One who always attend assembly every morning will somehow find it difficult to engage in such acts. Our principal and sometimes teachers to admonish us daily in the word of God and with their life experiences, but such students will never come on time to hear all those head touching words. They just sneak into the class and when the class is ready, how will such misbehave? Yes, do you think it's all those who hear the word that practice it? They do not allow the word of God to, to rule in their heart. Meanwhile, the stealing attitude is in the heart. That's why they find it difficult to stay away from what does not belong to them. I remember a passage which our priest Patrick told us last week, which says, The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as a bond speaking less. But many students do not know that that part of their education is having God's word, which will derive inner strength to withstand the devil. Please, before we depart, let's pray briefly for our fellow students. Jesus said it's the light of the world. Pray that the light is not change the darkness in everyone's heart. I don't care. I don't trust any other student. I trust myself. I can't lost any of my things anymore. I'll be more careful with my things. You mean you are so smart and careful to that extent? Nobody is above mistakes. It can happen to anyone. Buki, I know what I am saying. And I mean it. Imagine someone came this morning with a beautiful and brand new tablet. Although she did not supposed to bring it to school. See now. It was stolen during the lunch break. How long does it take for them to steal? I just pity Tolulade. Since we left the class, she has been crying anytime she remembers. I'm sure parents are going to scold and beat her for bringing her to school. I really pity her. If it were me, I would look for something more beautiful to steal. I cannot let anybody cheat me again in this school. You mean you can do that? Yes. Stealing other students' properties? Yes. That is very, very bad. It means you are the same with them when you do what they do. Remember, two wrongs cannot make things right. Who cares? Better hear this. When I was in GS1, exactly two weeks after resumption, two, two, new, two of my books were stolen. Two new ones. When my mommy had, she was beat to death because the money she used to buy those books was the money she got from competitive society. Do you mean it? Yes. While we were about to sit for our midterm examination, I was reading. Then I went to the toilet. When I came back, the book I was reading, so I was taking it. I sat down for the book and I could not find it. Did you find it again? I found it later. Thank God. Ah, Buki, why are you telling me that? You have found it now. Do you know I found it? You haven't told us. I found it at the male toilet. At the corridor in front of the male toilet. Rough and dirty. Maybe the person saw you entering the toilet and wanted to return it back. You can't see. Maybe the person did the photocopy or quickly or maybe the person took it home and write it and return it the next day. Or what did you think? That is students for you. 
Many do not have concerns and feelings for others. Many times I put my money in my pocket and when I wanted to use it, I'll find it there no more. Christ! Oh God! You know, some other students are so smart to the extent. If care is not taken, head will be shit on his position. I, I still don't know why that students could not boldly come to me to borrow the notes. Or even ask to study it with me. <laughs> Henry, you. <laughs> Can you learn any student your notes? Give you that you are very strict and stingy. You are right. I learned that from the character of many of those students. But, Yemi, uh uh. And then you ask for notes from me, I always give you now. Envy, I'm not saying that. You know, when I saw your attitude towards other students, you know, I have to learn from them. At least I'm a student like them. You judge me wrong, I don't like it. Oh, Envy, so you can be angry with that. Definitely, you are judging other students wrongly. I still believe there are still students in this school that they can never take other students' belongings. I want you to think deeply in your heart. Are you genuinely born again? Or oh, just a plain prance? Henry, did you have heaven in view? If I have heaven in view, where do you think I would get money to buy these books that have been stolen? The only thing you need is to be more careful with your things. Yes. You don't need to start stealing other people's things for revenge. <laughs> I just remembered the means you had me to see him after first break. Bye. -bye. What are you looking for? Where's your tablet? Who told you I have a tablet? So you are there. I'm telling you that could be a tablet for you. Is that how to welcome? I'm sorry. Welcome. How was good today? Fine. Thank you. Have you eaten? Yes. What about your assignment? I'll do it later. Let me see your tablet. Huh. You know I'm just coming back from school. Won't you let me enter first and have some rest? Alright. Come inside. I tell this boy, if he comes back again, you still demand to see it. Tola, the way you are coming out, don't forget to bring out your tablet with you. I want to have a look. Hey, God, my mom must not know that I've lost my new tablet. Who will I see now? Please, Lord, help me. Tola, did you hear me? I said, why you are coming out? Don't forget to bring your tablet along. I want to look at it. David? Yes? Come inside. Now listen to me. Don't tell anybody, okay? Okay. What is it? One of my schoolmates stole my new tablet. Why did you take it to school? I don't even know who took it. Oh, for God's sake, who could that be? Shh. That is not the issue now. Don't let mommy know. Or hear you cry. Go and bring your assignment. You can do it inside my room. I will assist you, okay? Glory, tell us. Jacobed. Hmm? Jacobed. No, that's not her name. That is Moses' mother's name. Now, in Luke chapter 17, verse 32, it says, Remember Lord's wife. That's what the scripture says about this unfortunate woman. Her heart remained in Sodom, even as her feet swept her away. We did not know her name. She was just referred to as Lord's wife. But we know about her disobedience, lustfulness, and greed. Tony, what did I say? 
We did not know her name, but she was referred to as Lord's wife. And she was known to her disobedience, lustfulness, and greed. Hmm. You must obey God's commandments, your parents and your godly teachers. Now, we're going to pray against every spirit of disobedience, lustfulness, and greed. That God will destroy them in your lives. Now, open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus, we will pray every spirit of lustfulness. Uh, what are the things that Lot was supposed to think about, but she failed to? Yes, any answer? She did not think of God's love that brought them out of the doomed city. Yes. She did not think of how fortunate they were, that even angels became their entourage. That is good. Yes, David. They did not think of the privilege that angels came to their rescue. Thank you. To learn any other idea from you? She did not think that the information about their safety came from God. Yes. All her wish and desire was to remain as Sodom. Maybe that is why she looked back. She forgot totally the instruction of the angel in Genesis 19, 17 and 26. She looked back and she became a pillar of salt. So children, for any reason, don't look back. Always obey the Lord. And it shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Amen. I say it shall be well with you. Amen. Let us pray. to disturb her. Have you forgotten she's been planning for a promotional exam? She invited me to her room to do her assignment today so that I will not cry. Mommy, Tony Lade's tablet was... Tony ah. Lade's tablet was what? I mistakenly said that. She wanted me not to tell you. No wonder she was not complaining for disturbing her. Mommy, mm, please don't beat her. She didn't lose it. And I told B that this Tablet, it's too much for her. I told the little lady to not to take it to school. Now she lost it. Mm, please don't beat her. She did not lose it. Somebody stole it. Don't worry, she will find it. I have prayed. <laughs> the student cannot return it. Huh? But I believe God answers prayer. God answers prayer and he honors the prayer with children. But the little lady, I'm going to discipline her for what she did. For taking that
class? We found a tablet yesterday. It was dropped in front of the staff room. I was expecting you to clap to that. But my instructions still stand. Whoever dropped the light in front of the staff room should show up on or before tomorrow morning. Have I made myself clear? Yes, sir. Thank you. It's not easy. I did be me, I can't go. After the tablet had been found, what else? Do you know it's there that I took it? That question is someone phone. I put it back to you. Do you know the student that is responsible for it? I don't know it out. Maybe you might have overheard it from some other side. No, I didn't. Let's forget about it. How are you? I'm fine. How was school today? School was fine. Is anything the matter? Nothing. Did you fight with anybody in the school or you have problem with anyone? No, ma. It's just the day of the day. I'm so tired. But your temperature is normal. Yes, ma. I, I'll just go inside, have some rest and go do my assignments. Are you sure you are okay? Everything is okay? Almighty God, I bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. You are a great and wonderful God. Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I got my tablet back. Ah, I'm so happy. Thank you, Jesus. Father, Lord, I pray for the person that stole it and return it to stop stealing and repent. Father, Lord, I thank you. Father, Lord, I appreciate your name. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, thank you. Please forgive me. I mistakenly told mom that I lost your tablet. Huh. I want you not to tell anybody. God. Please forgive me. I mm, promise that she will beat you. Well, God has taught the heart of the student. Here is my tablet. Wow! Where did you find it? You see, I prayed yesterday when you were demanded to see it. I also prayed in the camp when we were coming that God let you find it so that mom will not beat you. Yes. Thank you, Jesus, for answering our prayer. Oh, this iPod is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Tony. Yes, Tony. Are you ready for school? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, yesterday morning, we talked about our personal relationship with God. This morning, did you read your personal devotion before we pray together? I slept late. I will do it when I get back in the evening. Don't you realize what you are saying at all? It's not simply devotion. It is money devotion. Don't you get it? Mommy, I know. Try and understand me. Understand what? You are still under my roof. You can't cope with your personal devotion. So how are you going to cope when you grow up with more responsibilities and life prayers? I discovered you don't normally do it. Whereas your brother doesn't joke with it, even there in the university. Mm, that's true. Tony, thank God for your performances in the school. You have been good and you are now getting better. But you need God to complement your education. 
See, you are a student. You can't predict your daily activities. So it is helpful to observe it in the morning before you go out. Um, you know what? I'm getting it. I promise in the evening. Hey, Tony, Tony. All these simple, simple instructions you are not taking serious may lead to taking wrong decisions in life. We have many professionals in our society. We have doctors, lecturers, professors, scholars, and even lawyers whose lives are not decent because they don't have Christ. But the only thing that can single you out is the quality of the word of God in you. Thanks, man. No, I should be on my way now. Okay. Now she told me to start by stealing the girls at the table. Mm -hmm. Now God will not be angry with me, and I should ask for forgiveness. But now I lost my peace, and I have, and I have to go and drop it. You are too soft for me. What's wrong with you? You said you wanted to be a big boy, and I only told you to steal one thing, and here you are. You're already shaking. See, I am not used to this kind of life. I have lost my peace, and I cannot even pray again. See, this thing is not your fault. The girl wasn't mean to bring that table to the school in the first place. Now. It's a rule in this school that no mobile device should be brought to the school. And she brought us and nobody is blaming her for it. But that doesn't justify my stealing it. Oh. Don't justify my stealing it. See, the teacher is also going down extreme in this issue. The tablet has been found and returned back to the owner. So there was the essence of showing up again. I think he's determined to embarrass me. And I cannot go and meet him. For what? See, you don't need to do that. But I told you before that you didn't return the tablet. And now you've returned it. I knew something like this will happen. And now it has happened. I don't feel comfortable at all. And my mom noticed it yesterday. That's why I call you a coward. See, this thing depends on the state of your heart. Your heart is weak. And if you continue like this, you cannot go very far, you know. See, wait, did, wait, did anybody see you when you took the tablet? I don't think so. So yeah. what's the fuss about? Forget about it. Let me see. Forget about it, there's nothing. Let's go. I just know you. I'm Tony, your son. Please help me. All my children are godly children. Ah. I always teach them the word of God. They are all obedient. You are not one of them. Ah. Please help me. Please help me. Oh. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. What type of dream is this? Jesus. How do I know about this? Good. Mommy, I had a nightmare. What happened? I had a nightmare. What happened? What happened? You spoke hungry to be in my dream and you disowned me. I disowned you? I felt very disappointed. Oh Tony, what can cause that? What actually happened in the dream? I was accused of stealing. Did you steal anything? What did you steal? A tablet. Tablet? Yes, for one girl. Ah! Every morning we always gather together, teaching and praying together with all of you. In the evening, we always pray too. Not to talk of every possible time available for counseling during the days. You took your fellow student belonging. I believe she would have cried and be disturbed. Yet her crying didn't have any meaning to you. Did you remember that all liars and thieves shall have their part in the lake of fire? You didn't show her any pity? Ah! 
Tony, this is wickedness. Mommy, I'm deeply sorry. Tony, where is your conscience? And where is the spirit of God in you? Satan caused it. He suggested it through color, my friend. Hmm. I told you not to move with bad friends. But you, you didn't listen to me. You did what you want. Hmm? You gave your consent when you obeyed him. Satan told you to take what does not belong to you. What does the Bible say? I was, it, it, I was carried away by the suggestion. Can you now see where you have landed yourself? Hmm? You have disappointed heaven and head. So, where is it now? It has been returned. You returned it to the owner or you just dropped it somewhere? I dropped it at the front of the staff room. Where it can easily be noticed. You don't know the implication of what you have done. Proverbs 28 verse 13 says, He who conceals a sin does not prosper. For whoever confesses and renounces them will find mercy. Do you want to find mercy from God? Yes, mom. I want it. Then, this is what I have to say. Go to your teacher and tell him all what you have done. Or go to your principal and tell him how you are disobedient to the will of God. <laughs> that would be too much for me. It would be embarrassing. I'm sure you don't know the implication of refusing this instruction. He who conceals his sin will not prosper. Tony, if you don't confess, something terrible will happen. I need you to pray for me. <laughs> Please pray for me. <laughs> Go to God yourself and obey that instruction. Remember, obedience is better than sacrifice. <laughs> My mother has never spoken such unbearable words like this to me before. <laughs> oh Lord. I knew that I'm on my own, unless I seek your face. <laughs> oh Lord, please help me. Forgive me. <laughs> I am sorry to, for listening to call out my friend and stealing the tablet. <laughs> ah God, have mercy on me. Even though I have returned it, <laughs> I lack the courage this is our class teacher. <laughs> do it. It is so difficult. <laughs> it's difficult, Lord. I need your help. I need your help, Lord. <laughs> but the only problem is, <laughs> anytime I try to pray, 
everything is blank. I don't see anything. I can't just see anything. <laughs> Even now, I don't feel I should read the Bible. Why should I read the Bible? Why should I read the Bible? I don't feel I should read it. And I don't know. I don't know whether you are hearing me or not. But I do know one thing, oh Lord. Ah, I know one thing. That you are real. And I do believe in you strongly. Oh God. Have mercy on me. Save my soul from this predicament, oh Lord. Ah, God. Save my soul from this predicament. Him. Don't be afraid. Greater is the Lord Jesus Christ that is in you than the devil that is in the world. I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Go ahead. to know that Tony is courageous and God fearing. Tony, please come forward. I am so sorry, sir. Tony Lade, I am sorry. Everyone, I am sorry. Please forgive me. That was my first time. I was influenced by a bad friend. I have asked for forgiveness, and the Lord has forgiven me. Amen. And by His grace, I will not steal again. Amen. I would like to see you in private, in my office. Thank you can go and have a seat. Thank you, sir. Please, class, I want you to put your hands together for Tony. I would like you all to concentrate on whatever you're doing till your next teacher comes to teach you. Thank you. Most of the times, children behave as if they are doing God a favor by obeying His rules and commandments. Everything God is asking us not to do is to shield us away from dangers and to keep our life moving forward. We show God that we love Him by obeying and observing His commandments. Do you know why I insisted that you show up? No, sir. I just thought that you wanted to disgrace me in front of my fellow students. Far from it. Why should I disgrace you in front of your friends? It was due to what I perceived. While I was praying, the first day it happened. I perceived the same thing yesterday night. God repeatedly told me 
that if such students did not show up, such students will soon become a hardened criminal. Jesus Christ. You will notice that dropping the tablet is not as difficult as showing up yourself. Yes, sir. It was a tug of war, a great battle within me. It is because you prayed. If you did not, there won't be victory. Anyone can do any terrible things in the secret. But showing up openly to confess is a great work. Your future is my focus. Because your future is at stake if you did not show up. Because of the forces behind it. The power of darkness. If you do not conquer them now, your future will be jeopardized. But thank God that the enemy has been put to shame finally. My mom said the same thing, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. The spirit of the Lord is one. And thank God you did not only even come to me. But you could boldly stand in front of your class to give them the information. I believe you've learned a great lesson from this experience. Yes, sir. Congratulations. I did exactly what you asked me to do. What? How did you do it? You know I left the house early in the morning. When I got to school, nobody was around. So the class was. But then I later discovered that God wanted me to tell the whole class. What? The whole class? How did you do that? I prayed, Mom. But God prevailed. God really showed that He loved us. So how did you? teacher got to know since he wasn't in the classroom. Later that morning, a student noticed it and called our teacher's attention to it. Hmm. How did you feel when you did it? I felt terribly afraid. Fear gripped me. But the peace of God came over me and I knew it was from God. Never allow such thoughts and action again in your life and separate yourself from Kola and others like him. To avoid negative influence. Yes, ma'am. Never by the grace of God will I ever try it again. You see, son, <clears throat> you know, apart from the law of the nation and apart from the Ten Commandments of the Bible, every child of God has a law that is guiding them. And these laws are inside the Bible. Hmm. Son, your major obligation is to read, study, meditate, and obey the words of God if you have heaven in view. Hmm. The Lord will keep you in Jesus' name. Amen. Mommy, Daddy, by the special grace of God, I will never do it again. Hmm. That's good. You opened yourself to the subjection of the devil. Satan will suggest a lot of things to you. All you need to do is to resist the devil and he will flee away from you. Mm. The Lord will keep you. Amen. Your Amen. life will not be polluted in the name of Jesus. Amen. Mm. That is well Hello. Ah. So I already told you. In fact, it is so pathetic. We are going to see the principal right away. I I'll call you later. Thanks. Bye. Ask you to sit down. Can't see. Sorry, sir. 
Shortcut sits. Thank you. Tony. You are actually my best student in the school. And I must say that I am disappointed at you. Very, very disappointed. Well, um, I'm happy you came out to confess about what happened. The boldness, the confidence. But this is not you. Tell me, Tony. Who influenced you? My, my friends. My friends, sir. And I suppose that your friend has a name. Kola. Kola. You mean the same Kola that I warned you about? The one that almost uh, molested the student, uh, 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 a GSS3 student? The one that was suspended two months ago? Tony, can you see what I'm talking about now? I have warned you that you should choose the kind of friends you move with. You, you should know that the kind of friends you move with as a teenager determines the kind of future you will have. Friends you talk with, association you make, will determine your future. You should move with multipliers, not people that subtract and reduce you from who you are. You are better than this. This is not who you are. You are not a thief. Tony, I'm glad that you are back on track. At least you've learned your lesson. I want you to know that as a teenager, it is very, very important that you move with the right set of people for you to have a bright future. Well, what am I to do? I can't hold that against you. I want you to know that God still loves you above all. And if God loves you and he has forgiven you with your clear conscience and heart of repentance, then who am I to hold that against you? I still love you as your teacher and I will be on your case. I want you to turn a new leaf. I want you to start a new life. I, I pray color change. I, I'm not saying I, I, I'm praying for him. But for now, I want you to focus much more on your studies and on God and be mindful of the kind of friends you move with now. God bless you. Um, you can all go. Thank you, sir. Okay. And don't forget that godly children need godly friends. Mm -hmm. Take care of yourself. Tony. letter yesterday and uh, from the content our boy was expelled from your school why sir ma your son has become a dark horse among the students in this school he has been influencing other students negatively few weeks ago he influenced a boy 
to steal an iPad. You color and as if that was not enough, it was the arrowhead of those who organized a white party in an hotel. Jesus, you color, 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 madam, madam, let's Kola. hear the principal out. Okay, Jesus, <clears throat> which is totally against the ethics and the etiquette of this school and the whole principle of this school. In fact, a parent had to come and report that in that particular party, her daughter was almost raped, if not for the hotel attendant that rescued her. With all this, there's no way we can let this continue. Because we want what we have done to, to serve as a deterrent to other students. It has to stop. And it is now. Hmm. Hmm. Please, sir. We are not in support of what he did. But we just want you to consider him. Because he's in the final year. And his daddy has sworn him seriously that if the school authority did not take him back, that would be the end of his career. Please, sir. We don't want him to be a dropout. <sighs> Ma, I really understand what you are saying. But your son has become a bad influence on the people. And we have to stop it. Um, we will allow him to sit for his uh, work exam. But that is from home. He will never be allowed to be a regular student anymore. Sir, we are pleading with you. Please, allow him to stay in the school. I don't want him to end his career like this again. Sir, I don't want him to be a thorn in my flesh. <clears throat> you see, uh, making him to discontinue his education is not the solution now. You and his mother needs to put heads together and he needs a spiritual backup from home. That's true, sir. I'm a Christian. And his father is too carefree about him. Sir, have you given your life to Jesus? No. I don't want to be as religious as I. This is not about religion. Uh, if you really want a change in your home, it has to start from you. When you give your life to Jesus, you will turn everything around you for good. What's the correlation between Jesus and the issue on ground now? Mm -hmm. If you give your child a sound education without Jesus, the best we can get is to make him an intelligent devil, or better still, a smart sinner. Hmm. Intelligent devil? God forbid! Hmm. I pity the parents who help their children to engage in ex examination and practices. Also, picturing the future of, of your child without putting Jesus in the equation it's a colossal loss. Mommy, Kola. Daddy, Kola. What kind of future are you seeing concerning your son? We see our son becoming great in the future. Even greater than us, sir. As I said earlier, we are molding lives and destiny in this, in this school. Please, sir. I will implore both, both of you to go and settle your account with Christ. 
uh, that will definitely give you a divine change and that could be the change Christ is waiting for if you are certain as Lord and Savior it will transform your life it will give you a new lease of life whoever is in Christ is a new creature the purpose for which he has created you into this world come to pass. I know that I am a sinner. 